I'd been drinking coffee since I was a kid. Astonishingly, my mother, who didn't have very much money, used to actually buy beans and grind them. Extraordinary on the house that couldn't put meat on the table every day. So I became a lover, if not addicted to, of coffee. So, uh, how do you make it? Well, I've made it the same and really drunk it the same all my life. I disagree entirely with all these fancy dandy machines. I think that uh, Starbucks and the like have destroyed coffee. It's not coffee anymore. It's just, you know, uh, lattes and grandes and minutes and Why can't we just ask for a coffee? Why do we have to ask for an Americano? As if the Americans were the only people who drink black coffee. Anyway, here's how you do it. You, may, you get the ordinary paper filters in your local supermarket. You buy a plastic filter holder for a few cents and then you put it, you, oh, heat your cup. For God's sake, scald your cup so the cup is hot. And then you pour the water from the kettle onto the coffee in the filter and into the cup. And you can by putting one, two, or three spoonfuls in, uh, you can determine the strength to taste. And by the way, any reputable coffee maker will give you those little plastic spoons so you know how it works. But the important thing is, it's beans. Go into somewhere like Bewley's where they'll give you an array of beans to choose from. It's actually great fun. And, and now I understand why wine drinkers get so extravagant about plucky wines or strong wines. Coffee's like that. You develop a taste for it. And why don't you become an expert and enjoy it? Never again will you buy some 90 cent coffee around the corner from your newsagent in a paper cup.